G'day and welcome back to Matt's Workshop. Today I've got a simple project which is going to be an ammo Nerf gun storage box in my boy's bedroom. He has a load of Nerf guns and uh, lots of bullets that just seem to lie around. So what I want to do is make an ammo or a, uh, an ammo box with some handles and put it on caster wheels that I've taken off some old office chairs. Very simple project, I hope you enjoy it. Every good project starts with a good plan, so I like to draw them up, get the measurements right. Um, I then make myself a cut list so that I don't have to keep coming back to re-measure. Uh, get all my pieces cut and then it helps when I go to assemble it that everything is right. Okay, so now I have all my pieces cut out, ready to um, assemble. And the way I'm going to assemble it today is using um, a biscuit joiner. Now, I'm not uh, very good at miter and um, mortars and tenon joints, but this biscuit joiner makes it easy for anybody to make a nice strong uh, joint for, for this purpose. Now, this biscuit joiner um, is adjustable to uh, a range of thicknesses of timber and uh, what I'm going to be using today is um, a number 20 biscuit so these um, can be bought in different sizes number 10 and number 20 I think are the most common I use number 20 and uh, it'll fit nicely into uh, that size timber so um, yeah I'm just going to show you how to uh, set up and use these biscuits to assemble the side part of the uh, or the framing part of this Nerf box. So, let's grab the biscuit joiner out. One well used, used tool in my shed uh, is one of the first uh, power tools I bought. Um, it helps with uh, laminating and also making this sort of joint. Comes with a nice case, keep it protected. So the process uh, that I use, whether it's 100% um, accurate, I don't know, but for a beginner DIY, this is the way I do it. I assemble the, uh, lay the boards out on the table the way that I want to join them up. So this here that we're looking at is going to be the side part of our, um, of our box. Um, so lay them out where you want them. And then using a square or a ruler, Marking where you're going to be placing the biscuit. So these boards are 90 millimetres 90 millimetres wide. So I just set my, um, my square at about 45 and uh, mark that in. I've lost my pencil. Here it is. And just say, uh, right, here's the piece, making sure that both ends and edges are square. Marking a, uh, a line of 45 millimetres on all, on all faces. Now that that's done, we'll just set up the biscuit joiner. So this timber is 35 millimetres. <coughs> so what we can do on the side here is adjust the depth that we want the biscuit to be um, in the timber. So just adjusting the side. We've got uh, 35, so what we want is half. Roughly 17, 18. that down. We also want to make sure that it's square. So putting that down to 90 degrees and locking it into place. 
hearing and eye protection, holding the board, using the line that's in the middle of the biscuit joiner, line that up on top of the piece, holding it firmly. We do that for all pieces. The gluing up process is pretty simple. Pour glue into the holes, put in the biscuits, ensure that the uh, glue covers the surface area that you want to be uh, bond it together and then set up your clamps and clamp it together for a couple of hours. So now that I've um glued those together while I wait I'm going to be just uh, cutting the sideboards that'll go on um, that frame that we've made so just uh, using the compound miter saw uh, the sides are 300 millimeters uh, wide so I'm just going to um, mark those out If I'm doing um, repetitive cuts of the same um, size, what I like to do is set this block up on the side, um, but I've used my clamps. So uh, I'll just find a, a smaller clamp and um, what we'll do is we'll just hold that in place if we can, otherwise I'll screw it down. Set the saw blade on the right side of the cut uh, to see where it's going to be uh, cutting. Then put a stop block there. Uh, there's my clamp. It's not a very strong one, it's not very big, so what I'll do is I'll just screw that down. So now what I can do is uh, cut four of these boards for each side and they're all going to be the same size. Just plain these boards uh, on the planer just to make them nice and smooth. They have come off pallets so they were a little rough on the edges. There we go. Nice boards ready to screw on when the, uh, when the, um, the frame that we've made has been dried. Now I'll just cut up the, uh, the other ones that make up the long lengths and the base. So now it's time to uh, organise the, uh, the long sides of the box. What I'm doing here is uh, marking out and biscuiting the long edges and then um, the aligning sides on the ends. stuff uh, gluing so now I've got everything um, ready to go so I've biscuited the edges and now I'm just going to assemble
So, so far I've unclamped it, um, I've cut it and uh, screwed on the sideboards. I've also screwed on the base. What I'm doing now is just um, attaching some extra support, but also a bit more decorative pieces to the corners just to tidy them up. to do is um, attach some caster wheels off some old office chairs they were broken the chairs were broken and I've just uh, salvaged the chairs and also put on some uh, rope handles The next thing I'd like to do just to tidy it up is make these simple um, templates that I'm going to paint through onto the side of the box just to give it that uh, exciting um, look. So I've got uh, army supplies, danger, a sniper unit and 50 cal. So I'm going to cut those out using a sharp blade. Uh, tedious process but it should look good when it's done. So now that I've got the stencils cut out, I'm just using a glue stick on the back of each stencil just to give it uh, a nice a smooth edge around where I want to um, stencil, making sure that um, it's on there nicely. Then using acrylic paint, uh, not too thick but not too runny at the same time so that it doesn't run behind the stencil, uh, nicely dab it on with a sponge and then just repeat for each other stencil. Hopefully he keeps his room tidy with a little bit of encouragement. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we put this uh, box on caster wheels. It has uh, rope handles so he can move it around whenever he wants. And uh, we've got the, uh, the nice uh, stenciling done there. Um, just a uh, removable lid. Um, also nicely, uh, nicely stenciled and um, just, uh, just fits in there nicely. Uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this project. Uh, if you liked it, press like. Don't forget to subscribe for more projects coming your way soon. Thanks again. Cheers.